tonight they against the German Dutch. Whitlock, first leg, Australia simply terrific Rover. against Barry Bates. Game Mark on. Webster squeaking it in the opening match against Paul Nicholson. But Whitlock has been writing all the headlines against Sydney. Has he ever? 6 one his last match. Middle of the game was hovering just under the world record of 118.66, 107 average, 312 daughters, and an 11. Just like he did. It's almost a restatting of his world progress to a play Taylor in the final. And this is a rematch, Stuart, of the 2008 60. Lake Side final when Whitlock lost 7 5 to this man. And the Welsh really came the world champ. To the PDC, but I think we we kind of thought that Holland against Spain may be settled uh, before the doubles, but we always 59. believe that uh, Australia against Wales would be settled either by the pairs or by a one-leg shootout, and that's exactly what's going to happen. 59. Whew. Let's see drawn breath. If you're still watching, live in Australia. You have got a belter here. Absolute thoroughbred. 98. Oceanic master several years ago. What a fantastic effort he put up in the Premier League. He was classed. 93. He's won seven events as well on the PDC Pro Tour this year, away from the, uh, the TV cameras. Unerring accuracy uh, from the Wizards. Wales require now, Webster, 119. Who beat Nicholson. Webster didn't lead that match until the last winning dart went in. The only time he was ahead. It's the only time that matters. He now needs tops. Oh, and yes. He's on the first leg. The extra woman. Second leg, Australia. Against the throw as well, Sid. Don't know what he's made of. But we know what's going to happen here. I'm surprised to take his average here from 90 to 110 ish. Sharpish. 71. Well, mm. opens the door straight away for Webster. See, there's a former plumber here. Taking a wrench to the Aussie. 99. Not that time, though. Webster, though, has been getting better and better and better. He's made a slow start to his PDC career, but was the semi-final of the World Championship 12 months ago, and uh, his form has been in and out during 2010, but he looks in good nick, Sid. Absolutely. You can tell how fast he throws fast, that means he's confident. Some people are on the edge of panic, not with him. The Welshman's a thoroughbred, so is this bloke. World Championship against Wade. 15 180s, 500 plus checkouts. That wasn't enough. Box for the paper, which I've still got to fill. The way Whitlock played to get to that amazing final a year ago, Ali Polly against Taylor. Great through the blocker dart. That is a brilliant dart. But Whitlock still, you'd fancy to be first at the double, unless Stuart that three darter clicks in. Still a good lie to the left of the first marker. 140. Wales require so 140. Webster here. Took out 119 to win the opener. But Whitlock here will get darts at a double in his match against Barry 16. Bates. Six out of eight. Australia yeah. requires He was brilliant 52. with his finishing. Let's see what he can do here. The Aussie to make it one apiece. Double 16. Still a chance. Going to go inside quarter of an inch. 20 too score. thin. Too thin to find a tickle. Now he's singing in the valleys. As his arrow's going winging. Double 10. Left to the green bit on the way. Well, two big chances there 32. for Mark Webster. Webster will be desperate to lay down a marker in this match between the two captains. Double eight, three darts already missed by Whitlock. Games on the second leg to Australia. Third leg, Wales to Throfers. Well, he some amazing, on. amazing checkout stats in the Premier League. Did Whitlock three times he had over 80 percent one time he had 87 percent phenomenal finisher got a brilliant line to the middle of the 60. 140. they're going as up the bed was magnetized i think whitlock has really stepped up 
so 59. far today, Sid. I think possibly uh, in the group stages yesterday, uh, Paul Nicholson was the dominant partner for the Aussies, but uh, Myers Whitlock did good. Semi-finals of the World Cup to play the Netherlands live on Sky Sports HD at 7 o'clock tonight. Belt over a tournament. Shoots up Philip Devlin, the Spaniard to put out on England, which was weird until uh, we've seen some amazing dice-ups. Remember, the Aussies against the Republic of Ireland. 6-5. Yep. Scrape through the second round match in a deciding leg. And the Republic will count themselves unlucky not to win that. Yes, yeah, Spain, terrific. Beat England. Taylor away. Beat Scotland. Australia Anderson and Thornton. But the Dutch were a, a step too far. A clog too far. You could see. Yeah. Clog is waiting for the winner. Bell! Oh, yes, yes, the going. third leg. Three Fourth leg, Wales well, to 170 Rivers. and a 124 on the ball in his win over Barry Bates. A 164 now. Magic, magic from the Wizard of Oz. I hope there's no groundhogs in this commentary box. I've got a piece of paper here about with Taylor. 120 100 plus shot outs up to one in Clay Pally. What a man! Well, Whitlock will be a major, major player, that's for sure. But the way the seeds are, Sid, it could be Whitlock and Taylor in the semis. That's where they're seeded to meet. Number four. 57. Came from nowhere to qualify Whitlock 12 months ago. Now he's number four in the world. On merit. 58. Yeah, he picked up some big tournaments in his career from 02. Oceanic master. Some big scalps when he went to Lakeside. Couldn't actually take the scalp of the man he's playing now. 134. This class will champ riddled with world champions and world champion finalists. 170 left again. Yeah, Gets this. 58. I'm going to hang on to me top Australia team. Australia require 170. Well, we'll strap you in, Sid, if the first two go in the treble. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Great stuff from Whitlock. Why is that Jordy got a seatbelt around his chops, around his mouth? This to level it. I'll stick it to 60. Lost, you can see him, see him self castigating. 45. Come on, come on. Australia requires. Rarely shows upset. Seven. Two fours for three one. Sixty one. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. Wales requires seven. When you need the ball, how often do you hit the twenty five? When you need the twenty five, how often do you hit the ball? And that's what happened to Whitlock. Double six for Webster. Needs this. Level game. Yeah, level game it is. Play. And then we'll take it higher. Play, you're watching in Oz. And you're watching in the valleys. Down Tony Panny and Pony Breath. This is a belter. That brings the ones in. Oh, 140. His metal, M A T T L E, from the pedal, P E T A L. 6 1 8 T's for Whitlock in his win over Barry Bates. Hasn't hit one yet. 7 1 40s and still averaging over 100. 101. And of course, in that uh, victory over Bates for a long time, he was threatening Phil Taylor's world 81. record average of 118.66. And Ali stats by the Aussie oh, making my notebook look like Fermat's 27 theorem <laughs> only 33% to Whitlock see it in the Premier League you have 380 pluses 60 well whatever happens this is going to be decided in dramatic fashion either in the pairs or in a one leg shootout. 125. Like he used to play in the Long John Silver Super League. Here we go. Composed the beard to be feared. Former master builder trained by his proud dad. They built pizza ovens, but they didn't work in an atmosphere as hot as this. He is halfway to Durham City. 100. Ah 
Wales what require 142. Fantastic job. Well, Webster here. But that fantastic dart, which was like a curveball into the treble 20, 91. has given Whitlock a chance. Australia it was better. Require 120. It was a slider. It curved and dipped. 60, you want it? Here we go then. 40. Wales require Bit 51. There. This number tops to go ahead. Gotta watch the flight. Cause come left or right. Ah, on the fifth dangerous way. place to Wales. put it. Sixth Given leg, the flight. Australia, well, the fourth leg may yet be important because Whitlock missed two darts for a 3 1 lead, and all of a sudden, 100. it's advantage Wales, advantage Webster. Sometimes I so doubt. You wouldn't believe it tonight, the other Swatchman. Nineteen chance. The man who took the alley pally by storm. He did it up despite snowdrifts a year ago. One hundred lovely cover. So Holland in the World Cup final. Will it be the Welsh? Will it be the Aussies? Fifty seven. Both countries produce some great players. Terry O'Day, Tim Brown, fisherman extraordinaire. And from the volleys, got 10 minutes of the greats. Roxy Jones, Alan Evans, Leighton Reese. He's from North Wales, this lad. But he could go in the same galaxy as the Glamorgan Mafia. Australia require 170. Has to win this leg. Oh, he perfect again. Now, is he going to go for it? I think he is! 145! He wasn't far away from another 170 finish. Well, we always knew this semi-final would be pretty close, so it's proving to be great response from the Welsh captain too. Australia a three all land Whitlock. In a belter. Two eights. Games on the sixth Well, uh, Bletchley back, and when he'd be barring at Belfast, he went 7-2-1 seven seven Wales to with an 88% on doubles, did Whitlock. Talking about Barney, he has been... Well, he was brilliant in the semi-final. So relaxed, no pressure. Big difference in his demeanour and his darts. And it's largely down to Ko, Ko the clown, who's been geeing him up with jokes on that. And massaging the delicate psyche of Big Raymond. They're in the final. 96. We're not a picker winner here. This could go to the very last syllable of recorded tungsten. Well, the two number twos will battle it out next. Nicholson and Bates, and then 79. we will get the all-important pairs. Reminding you, if this semi-final goes to 3-3 three, three in the match score, we'll have a one-leg shootout to decide who takes their spot in the World Cup final. That is on the cards, Sid. Is it ever? Stuart Pike wearing a tea towel over his head and a crystal Players ball in front of him. 128. But we both only see a misty future for this one. Could go all the way. Unlucky flick on the flight. Very much in control though here in this leg. 92. Well, here we jolly well. Slag dart. Throwing a couple of daft darts now. Go recovery there. Wins required 36. Yes. Good start man. from Webster. Well, despite. Uh, some great darts, terrific finish from Whitlock, not much between them now as far as the numbers are concerned, look at that 97 and 95, uh, just in the Aussies advantage, but 100. we've talked a lot here about Whitlock, Webster has been consistently good all tournament. Well I was in the practice room last night as um, 100. he watched Barry Bates trying to beat one of the Scots and when he really did change in the game mode. Watched every dart of it. But still ahead in the averages. The Welshman ahead. 4 3. The match poised beautifully. One, 
Point each. 82. Lovely cover shot. Well, haven't done a 180 yet. One. We have no, 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 no. You and your big man, Stuart Pike. Go back to commentator school. <laughs> and read a bit about curses. 177. Oh, I have my crystal 81. ball and my tea towel said I could see the 180 coming. 81 for Whitlock for an 11 data. Once the ball. 56. Oh. Wales require 142. Big shot for Webster. Looks like big four apiece between the two 16. captains. Australia required 25. Fat nine. Skinny. Redbeat. On the wire. Readjust. Makes an angle. Game Brilliant. The I Australia. think you would have loved that one. So Wales does the Aussie Geordie there. Who's been Game christened on. by the Sunland crowd. I've just had a paper slipped in. The Geordie Roo. Oh, 100. Don't make things up when the crowd are giving you lines. Here we go. Yep. Nicholson the Geordie. 140. But, uh, relishing the challenge of playing here and also the booze of the Mackhams. Doesn't bother him though. Hey, they didn't drink that much, man. 57. We're in Mackham land as they call it. Because use the word Mac instead of make and tack instead of take. And this could go right to the 11th. 140. Leg before we get a mark or a tack. Yeah, this is a bit important leg as well. Webster throwing first. If Whitlock can break here, he knows whatever happens, he would throw first 96. if it went to a decider. So I'm sure Whitlock is very much aware of that. And he's taken the darts. He's stolen the darts in this leg. Hey, how about this for criticism? Two straight a line. Second dart let him down. He does angle him. He can get three in the red bit, straight above each other. But this line, he's got to work around it. That's the problem with the central line. 100. Right there. Australia then. require 84. To go one leg away from the match. Trouble 16. 218, he wants now. Another data from Whitlock, but crucially a break of throw. Webster Wales will throw Rivers. first, and look at the reaction from Nicholson. Well, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's wearing his kangaroo on his sleeve as well. Nicholson, the Geordie Aussie who spent six years in Melbourne before returning to the UK to make himself a dart star. Forty-one. Here we go then. Here we go then. Showing a part of Chagrin. A little bit of upset, the Welshman, former world champ. But this slide shows very little. The crystal ball again, Sid. 140. The Whitlock, 100 average again, just shy. And remember, he had that fantastic average of a. 108 in his victory 96. over Barry Bates. Again, the perfect lie, perfect dart for him. Is he going to win it here in this leg? 140. 13-140, Sid. Well, there you go. I mean, that sheet on what he did in the World Championship. 20 hundred plus finishes. 99. 150 twice, 170 twice. It was just incredibly the consistency that he showed up to in the playing of Taylor in the final. Darting machine. 50. Wales Crowd required Aussie. 138. Memo, directly pointing. Maybe he plays cricket. Find out. 100. Well, can Australia win it require 130. They're on next. Barry Bates and Paul Nicholson. Picture up there, like a Dutch double portrait. Ball! Yeah. What a yeah. way to finish! To what a way to win it! The Wizard! Fabulous! Two big finishes!
finishes another big ton plus average and Whitmark has won two points for the Aldis. Coming up soon.